Hi there, welcome to Lesson 2.2 Octave. In this tutorial, we're going to look at Octave, row vectors, arrays, addition of vectors, and introduction to matrices. So let's start. How do you input your row vector onto Octave? You can either use commas or spacings. And what do I mean by that? Let's start. First alphabet, I'm going to assign my numbers to K. I'm using caps, just preference wise. K will be a row vector of 5, 5, 5. Notice how I use the spacings of 5. And if I use a semicolon, K won't appear. But if I say this, K, then you'll see my row vector, which was spacing in between, and it's 5, 5, 5. Also, alternatively, to use the display function, you can just type in the alphabet and it will display your row vector. 5, 5, 5. We used spacings of 5 to achieve this row vector. Um, what if what is the another alternative way of obtaining this row vector? You can use commas. So let's assign L. I'm going to say my L is a row vector. And how do I know that I'm going to use 5, comma 5, comma 5, commas? Basically insinuate you want to do a row vector on metrics. I'm going to use a semicolon because I don't want it to appear. If I say disp L, my function, my row vector will appear. And also if I just say L, my row vector will be displayed. So what if we want to create a column vector? Let's see. Column vectors can either be achieved by semicolons or a transpose sign. So for example, if I say M is equals to 5, semicolon 5, semicolon 5, I will achieve my column vector. What if I want to achieve my column vector without using the semicolons? Well, you can just use the transpose sign. I'm going to assign those numbers to N and I will say N is 5, transpose 5 or 5, spacing 5, spacing 5. If I leave it like this, it will give me a row vector, but if I put a transpose sign, it will give me a column vector and there we go so now that we are familiar with row vectors and column vectors i want to introduce you to now using the colon sign not the same colon but the colon sign what happens if we use an octave when you input your colon sign you're simply programming and telling octave that you want a spacing between specific numbers so for example if i assign r to 1 is to 5. I basically just told Octave I want numbers between 1 and 5 displayed, and there we go. But what if I want numbers between 1 and 5 with different spacings? Let's assign that to S, and we are going to tell Octave we want numbers from 10, spacings of negative 2, all the way to 4. So what I basically just did is I said start from 10 to end at 4. But the spacing of negative 2. That's what we just did. Let's see what happens. And there we go. We just said 10, negative 2 to 4. And that's how it's displayed. It will start from 10 and at 4 with the spacing of negative 2. What if I wanted the other way around? Let's assign that to SS. We still are going to use the colon signs. So I'm going to say 4, 2, and 10 what I basically just said and told Octave is that I want my numbers to start from 4 and a 10 with a spacing of 2. Let's see what's going to happen. And there we go. It's basically the other way around. And for interest sake, if I wanted a transpose of my S in a form of a colon, all I have to do is that and you'll see them appearing like that. Also, if I wanted it the other way around, there we go. So basically, just created a transpose which is a column vector now i'm happy that you understand don't forget to pause the video if i'm too fast just to understand and continue and follow up with the pace what if we want to multiply a column by a column or a row by a row what if i want to scale what if i want to divide what if i want to subtract now let's look into all that. To perform such a function, call it element by element, you need to incorporate a dot sign, which is an element wise function. And what do I mean by that? First, let's start with scalar. 
to scale you don't really need to incorporate the dot sign and you see what I mean by that so basically I just remember our M let's display the M M was a column vector with 555 five. what if I want to scale that to multiply that and increase it by 2 all I have to do is just do that it will scale and you'll also notice if I use the element wise function which is the dot sign it makes no difference yeah but you'll see when it comes to multiplications and divisions it plays a very important role let's add vectors together what if I want to add my M and N so M plus N will be N plus N which is 10 what if I want to incorporate the element wise function I will do this you'll see there's really not much difference here and there we go it really didn't affect our function at all but what's going to happen if I want to use the power rule let's see um, before using that element function I'm just gonna say m to the power of 2 it gave me an error which reads um, only square metrics are permitted and one argument must be scalar so use the element wise power therefore what I have to do or all I have to do is to correct that error I just have to use the element wise power and I'll obtain what I'm trying to achieve which is my 5 squared per column what happens now if I want to multiply let's use that on our multiplication okay now let's multiply n by n just trying to display so that you know what we're working with this should give me an error and there we go it's non-conforming argument meaning i must use that element wise and um, dot function so i'm going to just do that and therefore i obtain my answer and if i wanted to do it transpose per column all i have to do is and therefore i get my answer now let's go depth in into my favorite which is complicated the division one okay so for your division you'll notice we won't obtain any error but we'll obtain different answers according to a function that we perform so if i say that m divided by n i'll obtain that answer and if i say m dot and which is practically what you want to do if you're dividing uh, any vector by itself or vector by vector and therefore we've divided by per column which is one 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 and if i want to do the very same thing but per transpose uh, i have to do it that perfect okay so now that we get that we just went through scaling power addition um, multiplication and division by the way subtraction is the same as division there's really not much error let me introduce you now to matrices welcome to matrices this is so fun i can't wait for us to solve complicated problems but first we need to get the fundamental basics so when we're working with matrices this is what we do or alternatively just trying to say to create a two by two matrix um, let me just have two by two matrix um, and I want my matrix obviously to incorporate rows and columns so this is how we do it let's assign alphabet O and we'll say to spacing five that's my first row column six nine so this is how it will display and to create a three by three matrix i'm going to assign p 
it's an alphabet for my matrix uh let's make it nine three seven spacing that was the spacing now let's create a column seven eight five column one two three there we go we just created a three by three matrix so matrices are so broad and they deserve a chapter on themselves now that we're done with this programming grade culture we already know this by far as we clear all and we see all c which is to clear everything perfect thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this lesson i hope it was basic understanding summarized knowledge